Each day in our nation, an average of 5,400 teens, grades 9 through 12, attempt suicide. Of the reported suicides in the 14 to 20 age group, 81% were males and 19% were females. The three most common methods of suicide are by firearm, suffocation, and poisoning. 18 out of 21 of our M school class know a friend or a classmate who has attempted suicide. 13 out of 21 of our M school class said that teen suicide wasn't addressed in their high school. We are got your back. I'm Jordan Comiskey. I'm Dwayne Logan. I'm Olivia Duncan. I'm Allison Watanabe. And I'm Brian Rivas. Uh, we distribute backpacks with a cause as we donate a portion of our proceeds to the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention which is the leading national not-for-profit organization dedicated to preventing <coughs> suicide through education and research. The purpose of our life is to be happy. So I want all of you to imagine right now a 13-year-old boy, whether it was you or your best friend in high school. This boy had everything. He had the support from his family, he had the support from his friends, and everyone was there to love him. But his best friend that he called his sister didn't have that. She was always fighting with her family, fighting with her boyfriend, not eating, and suffered from depression. <clears throat> and later on found out uh, that his sister hung herself and committed suicide. This was his freshman year of high school. A couple of years later, one of his good friends, his classmate, committed suicide due to firearm. It wasn't until his senior year, his own basketball teammate committed suicide, and he just didn't want to live anymore. And I wanted to let you guys know that that boy was me, and I also wanted to let you know that I'm not alone. and aspire everyone you meet. So our product is going to be a basic black backpack um, with our, our yellow logo on the outside, which is going to say GYB, and our logo is a yellow sun. The inside of our backpack is going to have yellow lining, and the outside is going to be um, a basic black, which is going to be a Cordura ballistic fabric, which is known for its resistance to wear and tear. Um, it's also used for military and luggage equipment. Um, our zipper is going to be a coil yellow zipper, which is also known for its durability. And on the inside of our backpack, each backpack is going to have a stitched in quote that's unique to the backpack, and it's going to be an inspirational message. And we chose our, um, our backpack, uh -oh. <laughs> we chose our backpack based on durability <laughs> because we want to um, have your backs both figuratively and literally. Three people from my high school committed suicide in my graduating class. My my best friend committed suicide. I think it's really confusing more than anything. Sadness, depression. Loss of hope. Devastation. Just ultimate sadness. That there's no hope left. Like swaying trees in the breeze, moving on so effortlessly. You move me, you move my Learn with other people to try and help them out, basically. that your actions will have their desired effect and that your life and everything that you're doing with it will mean something in the end. Being the change that you want to see in the world it helps you thrive, helps you keep going forward. 
that's inside a person that makes them feel that everything's going to be okay no matter what happens. Think of smiling and happiness and um, faith. Light at the end of the tunnel. Positivity. I think about love. I think about your friends and your family and especially your parents. Feeling that everything's going to be okay. Um, here's our mood board. We chose yellow as our theme color because it's the uh, color of the suicide awareness campaign, which are our ribbons. And also we want it to be really bright and uplifting since suicide is kind of a heavy topic, so we want to focus on hope rather than suicide. Okay, so this is the product that we're, I was talking about, and as you can see at the top, there's an inspirational message. It'll be um, unique to each backpack, so no two people um, near each other hopefully will have the same backpack. So our target audience is made up of boys and girls ages 13 through 18 in Southern California. And more specifically, we wanted to start off by targeting influencers um, who would be someone like this girl right here. Um, and we feel like they could really help us spread the word about our cause. So this girl's name is Alicia. And um, as you can see, she was homecoming queen. She was also ASB president, um, a member of marching band, and on the tennis team. So since she's so well-rounded and seen by her peers um, to be a role model, we think that she'd be the perfect person to wear a backpack and also represent our brand. And then after she starts wearing it around campus, we think a lot of her peers will ask her about her cool new backpack, um, want to learn more about it, and then get one for themselves as well. So from here, we'll be able to um, start to form an inclusive community that will take a united stance about the serious issue of teen suicide. Here are some potential ads that could go on print magazines such as Seventeen and Teen Vogue or as banner ads <coughs> to go on websites such as Hulu or Spotify. And we would also have floor ads to go in movie theaters and malls and just places where teens hang out a lot. And then here's a screenshot of our website, or about us, and our backpack, which gives details about the backpack and the website is the only outlet to actually purchase it for now. So in addition to our print and online ads, um, to kind of kick off our advertising, we came up with the idea of having a GYB van that would tour in Southern California during August, so one month prior to our actual launch. And these are just some of our inspirations for our van. And during our tour, which we'll be calling the Brighten the World Tour, um, we will go to beaches such as Huntington or Santa Monica, as well as coordinate with ASBs and student governments to put on events at various high schools in Southern California. And at these events, we will hand out free giveaways such as pens, magnets, and stickers, um, as well as have a drawing for a free backpack at each of our stops. So the purpose of this tour would just be to um, spread awareness, gain some recognition, and most importantly, get people excited about our brand. Um, and yeah, that's basically it for the tours. OK, so we're going to be using social media as our main um, marketing campaign. So we feel it's one of the most um, efficient ways to reach our target audience. So we're going to be using primarily Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, where we're going to be encouraging people to interact with us by posting pictures of their own themselves using the backpack. So to do this, we're going to be doing giveaways for people who post pictures of themselves with the backpack and who get the most favorites, likes, and retweets. We're also going to be doing giveaways for people who take their backpack the farthest, which we're going to know by Instagram and Facebook check-ins, and for people who post the most um, unique and interesting photos. And we feel like getting people to interact on social media like this is going to um, get them excited about the product and get them to share it with their friends a lot as well. So when we break down our media schedule, like Ali said earlier, we are starting in August with our vans and our consumer promotion of our stickers and our pens. But the main area that I want you guys to focus on is September. And you ask why September? September 13th is Suicide Awareness Day. So this is why we want to start our campaign and go heavy and strong in September with our social media, our Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, have our website ready and developed, have our mobile vans there to represent us, our consumer promotion with our stickers, our pens, and our pencils, and our magnets, everything for that. We have our magazines ads. We have our YouTube stories. We're going to do a mass header because we know this will affect somebody, and it'll get somebody's attention. So we're willing to invest that, as well as um, the sponsored walk event. So our sponsored walk event will be a 5K. Uh, sponsored by Got Your Back, and it's just pretty much a raise awareness. Uh, it's going to be all yellow, it's going to have our vans there, and it's going to be the whole shebang. So in order to come up with a price for our backpack, we conducted a survey in which we um, 
explained our brand as well as our story to a total of 100 teens in Los Angeles schools. And as you can see from our results, um, the majority said that they would be willing to pay within the $40 and $50 price range. So we decided on $45 per backpack and we will donate 10% of our proceeds to the American um, Foundation for su Suicide Prevention. And then we also um, made this chart because we researched um, which backpack brands are considered the best sellers in the market today amongst our target audience. And as you can see, um, based on quality and affordability, our backpack would be the most desirable compared to our competitors. And another key advantage that we have is that our backpack is for a good cause. So this will really differentiate us and make us stand out amongst our competitors. So once we break down the financials, our backpack cost $45, and when we did our research on our competitors, the average cost to create a backpack was $9. So that gives us a $36 profit right off the back. But we are a new and upcoming company, so obviously our first year is going to be a little bumpy, so we're in the red. But we still want to give that 10% donation to our nonprofit. But the next year at Got Your Back, we're very optimistic, we're very hopeful, because we want to instill hope. We're going to be in the green, and we're going to sell 15,000 more backpacks than the year before. So how do we measure the success? We want to look at revenue, both in volume of sales of the backpack and in relation to how much money we're spending on advertisements. We do this using metrics like cost per click, which is the average amount of money it, co it takes to get someone to click on our ad, and cost per acquisition, which is the average amount of money it takes to get someone to purchase a backpack. We also look at social media and look at our reach and the amount of impressions we can make. We use Google Analytics to look at Twitter to see if people are sharing our content by retweets and favorites. And uh, we use Google Analytics on our official web page to see uh, what type of traffic we're getting, how much, and uh, if there's spikes in specific places, like cities, or on specific dates, like uh, in September, because that's when uh, Suicide Awareness Day is, and because that's when school starts getting going, and you'll need a backpack for that. And the specific cities uh, where our box will be and where our tour follows. And uh, also, we want to see how our brand is being mentioned, uh, like specific buzzwords in this cluster right here. And we'll do that by looking through our hashtags and keywords that people use uh, in searches for our brand. So what's next for GYB? Well, in the future, after we succeed here in Southern California, we'll want to go national and focus on three states, uh, including Alaska, Montana, and New Mexico. Now, why these three states? They're the three states with the highest uh, rate of suicide. Also in the future, we want to partner with Lady Gaga's Born This Way Foundation. They focus on empowering youth and inspiring bravery, so our, uh, their foundation and our brand kind of go hand in hand. So this is our company. The backpack is our product. We want to create and instill hope within the world. So on behalf of Got Your Back, we now ask for your support and for you to have our backs and support us in this process. Start something that matters. Thank you. Or, you know, we can definitely appreciate how you handled that. It was really well done. Um, and it's never easy, especially in the time when you're here presenting. So really, really well done. Um, I love the branding and the way you've got your back message. I think that's really fantastic. Um, I'd love to know, did you guys think about how you could actually seek out teens that are potentially troubled or thinking about suicide and any thought process around how you can literally target them and, and deliver a message? Um, so we didn't want to be too specific of like going to someone and be like, okay, who in your school is like committing suicide? Because we don't want to be our backpack to be the one that's like, oh, that person's like um, thinking about suicide, so they're using the <coughs> backpack. Mm -hmm. Which is why we're trying to reach someone like maybe the ASB president, who's like a positive image, and they can like use their backpack, and other people can see them using it and be like, oh, okay, um, it's okay to be using this backpack because I know that someone cool is using it. So we wanted to kind of. Um, distribute it that way, and which is also why we're teaming up with American Foundation for Suicide Prevention, because they do do outreach programs, and so um, people who come to them, because it is sometimes like a touchy subject, yeah. and they can like help in that way as well. That's great, because one of the things that, just as you guys were presenting, that I think would be really neat would be, I mean, it's such a private thing, right? And with the digital age of teenagers, being able to find a way of even just looking at search terms of what someone is searching for in that state that you can actually deliver just a you know a one-to-one -one message to them of hope and a more of a branding perspective digitally versus the literal backpack as well. Yeah, that's a really good idea. Yeah, we should look into that, definitely. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. 
So I just have um, a couple compliments. Um, one, I echo the technical difficulties. You guys took that in stride, um, and that's not easy to do. Um, the product uh, integration, I feel, is is um, pretty exceptional with you guys. Um, it, it just the the product and, and what you're trying to speak to um, fit rather seamlessly, and then that's never easy when you're asked to actually market something and develop something. Um, so kudos there. Um, I'm interested in the in the rollout plan. Um, I thought it was really it was really thoughtful um, to target the three states with the largest suicide rate. But um, did you think about how that might affect um, either your outreach plan, your your plan to reach influencers, or your overall sales? Being that those seem like kind of desolate areas, um, or maybe not a lot of commerce. So our main idea of Got Your Back is that this bright yellow sun with the three simple letters in there is a symbol of hope. So we model that off of a, a live strong wristband. So obviously when you see that, you think of hope, you think of a new life, and that's what we want from our um, logo. So when it is in a small like local area, but it's still well known, it's just like uh, being on LMU's campus, this is a small campus, but you're still well known. And so it's kind of like instilling that, okay, like I, the purpose is still being served. Um, I thought you were brave in picking this assignment, to you picking this topic, so I applaud that because I thought it was like a gutsy thing to go do and a hard thing to address. I thought you did it really in a, in a very classy, sophisticated manner, so I, I applaud. I was, I was struggling with the connection to actually affect behavior, and I thought what you were going to go is building some kind of robust social network to provide an outlet for people to connect. And I was trying to connect the back, like I feel good about the backpacks and it's a, it's a notice of hope, but I was trying to connect it to behavior. So that was question number one and part two of that is, I'd love to see a key metric of affecting people's behavior. Like ultimately you'd like to judge your success against reducing suicide. Right. So I would just, it may be an obvious one, but I was, I was kind of missing that in your presentation. So with 10% uh, that goes to our nonprofit, um, when we did research on the nonprofit and finally chose them, we found out that they do research and they also do training, uh, whether it is a coach, a parent, or even fellow students. That's why we chose an ASB representative as well. You can uh, learn the signs of depression, uh, learn the signs of suicide, and so that kind of raises the awareness and uh, they kind of teach in that sense, and that's how we're funding them in that aspect.